Robert Wadlow was the tallest man in recorded history. It is undisputed. There is evidence, proof of his height of nearly nine feet tall. And there hasn't been a man before or since that was taller. And he was born and raised right here in Alton, Illinois. And here he is, Robert Pershing Wadlow, the tallest human being to ever live. Now I'm assuming that the statue is actual size. But I'm going to try to sit in Robert Wadlow's chair. Will you look at the size of that chair? I don't know if I really want to sit in it because it's been raining and the Wadlow chair looks quite wet. But this is a really big chair. I don't know if you can see how big it is compared to me, but it's really big compared to me. On a trip to Virginia in November of 1939, Robert Wadlow met Mr. C.L. Smith. Smith was the president of the Galax Furniture Company. He saw how uncomfortable Robert was in his chair, so he offered to build him a custom chair. And this is a replica of it in metal. All the exposed parts of the original chair were made of solid black walnut, and it took 11 yards of wine-colored brocatiel to cover it. And that's the chair that Robert Wadlaw sat in and used right up until his death. Let's compare his foot to mine. That is unbelievable. By the time Robert was five years old, he was five and a half feet tall. And when he was 10, he was six foot five. And by age of 13, he was seven foot four. That's bigger than almost every basketball player in the NBA. And at the time of his death, Robert was nearly nine feet tall. Eight feet, 11.1 inches. He was known as the Alton Giant and the Gentle Giant. And as I stand next to this life-size statue, his cane nearly comes up to my neck, and I'm six feet tall. As we walk down the sidewalk in the city of Alton, I can walk in Robert Wadlow's footsteps. Where it says, not that I was so tall, but everyone else so small. And I guess that includes me, because there's my foot compared to Robert Wadlow's. Although he never used a wheelchair, he did have some trouble walking, and he used leg braces and a cane. During a promotional visit to Michigan, he was walking in a parade. He developed a blister, which led to an infection, which ultimately led to his death. Now let's take a look at the other giant in the city of Alton. In 1673, French explorers Marquette and Joliet were winding their way down the mighty Mississippi River. And imagine what they must have thought when they came across this. Painted on the side of the cliff was this image. This image is known as a Piasaw bird, and it's a local Indian legend. It appears on the side of this cliff near Alton, Illinois. Of course, this isn't the actual image. It's been restored, but this is pretty much what it looked like in 1673. In fact, we have an account of seeing this from Father Marquette's actual diary. The Piasaw was as large as a calf, with horns like a deer, red eyes, a beard like a tiger's, the face of a man, the body covered with green, red, and black scales, and a tail so long it passed around the body, over the head, and between the legs. And the name Piasaw, given by the Illini Indians, literally means the bird that devours man. Many moons ago, there existed a bird-like creature of such great size, he could easily carry off a full-grown deer in his talons. His taste, however, was for human flesh. Hundreds of warriors attempted to destroy the Piasaw, but failed. Whole villages were destroyed, and fear spread throughout the Illini tribe. Awatoga, a chief whose fame extended even beyond the Great Lakes, separated himself from his tribe, fasted in solitude for the space of a whole moon, he prayed to the Great Spirit to protect his tribe from the Piasaw. In a dream, the Great Spirit appeared to the chief. It told him to gather together 20 warriors, arm them with poisoned arrows, 
and hide in designated spots. One man was supposed to try to lure out the Piasong. The chief decided to be that man. And he went out and the Piasong came to pick him up and attack him. And the warriors descended upon them and shot him with poisoned arrows. And that was the demise, the end of the Piasong. Now I have to say, I wish the Indians had kept the body. It'd be pretty cool. See the skeleton of a mighty Piasaw, wouldn't it? I don't know, I imagine it somewhere. Maybe they hid it in that cave behind me. I hope you enjoyed our visit to Alton, Illinois. As always, I appreciate when you leave comments, when you like and share the videos, and especially when you subscribe. I'm Mark with Robert Waldlow, the tallest man who ever lived. Thanks for watching.